Church. This is Pastor Mary Rachel. Um, welcome. It is good to be with you today. Um, today I wanted to offer to you a small practice, uh, something to do with your body to help you to remember the love of God. Um, but it's something that's inspired by one of my um, favorite books and spiritual writers. So I wanted to tell you about her first. Um, this is not what she looked like, but her name was Julian of Norwich. Um, she was born about 1342, so she lived through some of the great plagues in England. Um, and she was a woman so faithful that she actually moved into a church. She was what was called an anchorite, um, was that she anchored herself um, to St. Julian's, a church in Norwich, England. Um, in fact, she is called Julian of Norwich because she lived at the church, Julian's. So we don't actually know her um, given name, the name she was given at birth. Um, she's called by the name of the church that she lived in. Um, she was a really faithful woman, and she prayed to God and asked uh, for a vision of God's love. She asked to be able to see what it was like to be at the crucifixion. And she was about 30 years old. Um, she became very ill, um, nearly died, and um, she had a vision. And her two books, actually, are the first um, accounting of the vision that she had. And then, uh, I think nearly 30 years later, she wrote a second accounting, which sort of goes a little more into her meditations on that vision that she had of God. Um, uh, I recommend it to you. If uh, you've never read it before, <laughs> it's incredibly beautiful. It's really pretty brief. Most editions of it come along with a lot of notes to sort of help us understand what it would be like to live in 14th century England. Um, but most of it is pretty simple and easy to understand. I'm just going to read the briefest of, um, of anecdotes, a little part of her vision, and then offer you practice based on that. And in this vision, God showed me a little thing, the size of a hazelnut, lying in the palm of my hand. And to my mind's eye, it was as round as any ball. And I looked at it and thought, what can this be? And the answer came to me, it is all that is made. I wondered how it could last, for it was so small, I thought it might suddenly disappear. And the answer in my mind was, it lasts and will last forever because God loves it. And in the same way, everything exists through the love of God. Uh, so what I want to offer to you as a practice is that you try to imagine what it was that Julian saw in her vision, um, but to do it with your body. So um, I've taken a small heart-shaped rock that Shirley Hoven gave me. Um, but I ask you to find something small that fits in the palm of your hand. Um, it is not round, but like what Julian saw, but I think it helps to see the size of it and feel it in your weight, in your hand. And I offer to you that you might ponder this small thing and see if you, like Julian, can imagine all of creation all that ever was and all that ever will be held in the hand of God, created in love and preserved in love. hope uh, that you, like Julian, might receive some blessing through this today, that you might know um, or feel even a little of what uh, the Gospel of John may have meant when it said that God is love. I don't um, I know it's different. Uh, but I hope it is a blessing to you.
know that you are in my prayers today as always. Amen.